Right now, the school is investigating how this happened, saying any student that brings drugs to campus could face consequences. And tonight, parents are left wondering why it took the school so long to inform them. I'm surprised we didn't get a message or an email or something where it should have been, you know, it should have been said to all parents. When Stephanie Cologne was picking up her six year old son early from Tobin school, she hadn't heard anything about multiple middle schoolers eating edibles on campus. Wow, wow, I, that's, yeah, that's very, that's, I don't even know what to say. Five kids that took some edibles there. Uh, between the ages of 12 and 14. That's the information Boston police and EMS had as they responded to the kindergarten through eighth grade school around noon. Our cameras were rolling as one of the students was taken out on a stretcher and brought to the hospital as a precaution. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. That's crazy. In a letter to parents, the school's principal says drugs and drug paraphernalia are prohibited on school grounds, writing, quote, students who bring or distribute any illegal substances will face disciplinary action in accordance with the BPS code of conduct. Now, the school is urging parents to talk with their kids about drugs and situations like this, something mom Stephanie Cologne yeah, says she's what, already you know, doing. You know, he's six years old. At the end of the day, I have to teach him these stuff because it's crazy. At this point, the school district has not said whether any of the students who ate the edibles will face any consequences. Live in Roxbury, Emily Maha, WCVB News Center 5. Emily, thank you for that.